Today, I'll talk about human behavior estimation using microvibration sensor based on Deep Boltzmann machine. Research background In recent years, the aging of the population has become a global social issue. As a result, the number of accidents that occur in the homes of the elderly is one on the rise. These accidents have a significant impact on the health of the elderly. As a result, there is a need for a monitoring system to prevent such accidents from occurring or detect them as soon as possible if they do occur. In such systems, commonly used camera images, but this poses the problem of privacy. Therefore, there is a need for a system that does not rely on camera images. The table below shows the sensors used in the smart home and compare them in terms of privacy protection and non-wearability. From this table, we can see that the microvibration sensor meets all the requirements. However, it must be admitted that indirect sensor data comes at the expense of accuracy, which is a problem that needs to be solved. There are several problems in developing a behavior estimation system for privacy conscious monitoring systems using vibration sensors. The first one is that microvibration sensors are very sensitive and therefore easily pick up noise. In addition, the vibration sensor data has different characteristics depending on the environmental conditions and the behavioral state, so it is necessary to extract them appropriately. In the proposed system, we aim to develop a behavior estimation system using vibration sensors by removing noise and extracting characteristics using a deep Boltzmann machine. In the proposed system, we chose to place two sensors in the same room as sensors to measure the daily activities of elderly people. The vibration sensor does not use images or 3D distance, which can protect the privacy of the elderly to the greatest extent. Therefore, the proposed system can reduce the psychological burden of the elderly. The figure shows the workflow of this system. The real-time data Corrected by each sensor is sent to the processing terminal through serial communication. The data processing terminal merges and processes the data of the two sensors according to the algorithm and output the user user's current state. The results are updated to the cloud server in real time via Wi-Fi. Caregivers can view the current state of the elderly through their smartphones synchronized with the cloud server in real time. Next, let us talk about our proposed behavior estimation system. The flowchart on the right shows the outline of our proposed behavior estimation system. The first step is to install two microvibration sensors. These sensors will be installed on the floor. The data measured by these sensors is pre-processed. Then we extract features using a deep force machine and estimate the behavior use behavior using a full couple of neural networks. Let us look at each item in detail. First, the processing part, pre-processing part. The low-pass low filter is used to remove noise and the 
weighted root mean square is used for processing the figure the figure on the right shows waveform after the processing. The spectrogram is then derived using the autocorrelation function. Next, I will explain binarization. The input of the deep Boltzmann machine is a binary value, and the spectrogram obtained by the autocorrelation function is a real value, so it is necessary to convert them. In addition, since it is necessary to protect the information of the part with a small amplitude, the logarithmic transformation is performed to emphasize the features. The transformed data is then transformed into 10 steps using 10 nodes. These are then used as input to the deep Boltzmann machine. The spectrogram looks like the figure on the right. Next comes the deep Boltzmann machine. The expected role of the deep Boltzmann machine in this system is to extract the input features as an autoencoder and to remove noise from the input data due to its ability to record the learned data. The parameters of the deep Boltzmann machine used in this system are shown in the table below. With three layers of depths and the number of nodes in each of them being first layer 2000 and second layer 1000 and third layer 500. Next comes the neural network. It performs behavior estimation based on the features extracted by the deep Boltzmann machine. In order to prevent misjudgments, it outputs unknown result. If the difference between the largest and second largest value in the output layer of the neural network is less than a threshold value. The parameters of the neural network used in this system are shown in the table below. With three layers of depth and the number of nodes in first layer is 500 and the second layer is 100 and third layer is 5. Finally, there is a majority boot in the time direction. The system so far has not been able to take into account the effect of the time direction. Therefore, by taking the majority boot in the time direction, we can estimate the behavior including the time direction information in the system. The image of the majority boot is as shown in the figure on the right. In this case, since the behavior pattern do not changing so quickly, we took majority boot for 0.5 second. Then we will train the model considering the model considering the measurement range of the microvibration sensors. We set up two microvibration sensors at 2.4 meters and measure the behavior between the sensors. The behavior patterns we prefer are shown in the table below. Walk 1 is normal walk. Walk 2 is tracking one leg. Jump, which is down on the step without moving. Jog is jogging and no one is no behavior. 
the learning results are as follows. This time we check the estimation sy system normalized by five patterns from 0 to 0 0.3 as an unknown threshold, exclu excluding the unknown. The accuracy was 87.6% when the threshold was 0 and 91.1% when the threshold was 0 0.3. It is indicated that the system could run well and estimated behavior. In addition, when the threshold was 0.3, the percentage of unknown result was about 10%. Next, we will discuss the behavior estimation experiment. We set up two sensors at 2.4 meter intervals and measured the behavior between them. We prepared the behavior patterns we used in training and performed them in order with no behavior in between. The transition of the behavior pattern used in this experiment is shown below. And this movie is what the experiment looks like. The results are as follows. The table below shows the estimation results for each threshold. When the threshold is zero, the estimation accuracy is 69.6%. And when the threshold is 0.3, the accuracy is 72%. Although there was some place where work 1 was estimated as work 2, and there were many areas where the no behavior state was not estimated well. In addition, when, when the threshold was 0.3, the percentage of unknown results was about 30%. Conclusion. As for the fact that the estimation result for no behavior dropped significantly from the training phase to the experiment phase, it is so that there was almost no input when the autocorrelation function was calculated for no behavior pattern. Therefore, it was misestimated when there was some kind of extract, uh, external input. As for the large number of fails estimated between work, and work 1 and work 2, it is thought that this is because these two behavior patterns are based on working and the degree of separation is low. We also confirmed that the uh, estimation accuracy improved as the threshold value increased. However, however, if the threshold is too large, the number of points that cannot be unknown against may become too large. In this study, we proposed a behavior estimation system using a microvibration sensor and a deep Fultzman machine as a behavior estimation method that did not rely on camera images to consider privacy issues. We confirmed that the possibility of the proposed method by training the system for five behavior patterns. In addition, we confirmed that effectiveness of the proposed method by conducting behavior estimation experiments for the case where these behavior patterns were performed continuously. As a future prospect, we need to improve the estimation of the state of no behavior and other in this experiment. In addition, the proposed system used only a microvibration sensor, but we would like to improve the estimation accuracy by combining multiple sensors.
Thank you for your attention.